We're here with Consul General of Pakistan in Los Angeles, Rifat Masood. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. How are you? Um, it's, it's such a pleasure. I mean, I'm sure it is for you for receiving this award. Congratulations. Can you tell us something about the, the award that you've just gotten? Well, um, I am overwhelmed and I'm truly humbled uh, by, through getting this award by IMPAC. I have always been a strong supporter of um, building communities and bridging the gap between communities. And IMPAC is doing such exemplary work in bringing the Muslim American community together with all the other communities in the United States. Uh, their interfaith work, their work in uh, youth, building of the youth, um, in the entertainment industry, their media awards, all the work that they do is, is the kind of thing that I have always believed in. And so by getting this award today, it is truly a humbling moment for me because I I've, don't think I deserve it, but I have always, I have in fact tried to do my little bit in bringing the community, the Pakistani American community and the Muslim American community together in the United States. Can you tell us about the changes and the progress that's been made in the unity or the work that Muslim Americans are doing since you've been in office here in Los Angeles? You know, um, it's a very difficult task. It's a very challenging task because um, being a Muslim anywhere in the world and especially in the United States is a huge challenge, very difficult. Being a Pakistani is an even bigger challenge. And then being a woman is an even greater challenge. And I have been working on all three fronts. I have been trying through my work to put Pakistan back on the map of a country which is rich in culture and civilization and history. And a country which has a lot more to offer to the world than just what is being projected in the media. As a Muslim, I have um, worked with the Amer Pakistani community here and organizations like IMPAC especially to put forward the face, the true face of Islam and the same thing when it comes to being a Muslim woman. So I think that uh, in these two years that I've been here, um, although I cannot say that I've made a, a big difference, but I think I have brought about a dent. I think I have been successful in making people think, positively at least, about Pakistan, about Islam, and about women in Muslim women. Um, any specific pointers that you would like to see change or develop even more in the Muslim American community? I think, I think there has to be greater integration. I find that the Muslim Americans, as well as Pakistani Americans, have been slow in integrating well in the mainstream American community. And I also find sometimes, unfortunately, that we as Muslims, or even as Pakistanis, or as women, are very apologetic about our religion and our belief and what we have to offer. And so we try to hide behind um, a veil which is not necessarily true. I mean, we, if we are able to project through our own work, the community work that we do, and our true beliefs of what Islam is all about and what, what we stand for, then integration is not a difficult process at all. And we should actually be working more towards integrating in the mainstream American community. Any message for the, for the upcoming youth or the developing unity that we need? Well, you know, recently I was I held a youth conference with the help of uh, the young Emelak uh, from the Sheriff's Department. And I'm very um, excited about the work that MPAC is doing with the youth. And I feel that the youth is our future. And I find that the young uh, American uh, Muslims and young uh, American Pakistanis have um, a very positive and a very uh, forthright projection and uh, and they are willing to work set aside their inhibitions and work uh, with mainstream community and they're not shy about their past which is very good and I think that needs to be encouraged I think the youth needs to be encouraged to come out more and speak loudly about what they believe what they stand for and what they're 
communities are all about. That was great lasting words. Thank you so much for your wisdom and we congratulate you once again, Consul General.